After days of relative quiet on the UT Austin campus, protesters erected tents and braced for what they expected to come next. We are not here to harm anybody. No, we have been peaceful. We tried to be peaceful on day one. It was violent and vicious and terrifying and absolutely beyond anything I thought could happen in the United States. And I know it's about to happen again, and we're very scared for that. Minutes later, the police moved in at the behest of university leaders. Texas state troopers in riot gear surrounded the few dozen protesters, then one by one tore them away. Let them go! Let them go! What began this morning as a peaceful, quiet event has now really erupted into this, and that happened the moment police arrived. And now surrounding this are hundreds of other UT students and faculty who were not among the original protesters themselves, but have come out here to support them as they are being led away by police. The protesters are sitting down on their butts in the grass. The only violence is when the cops walk into the circle, grab a protester and haul them out. A UT spokesperson cited extensive online threats associated with Monday's protest. Al Jazeera did not witness any acts of aggression from the encampment protesters. But within hours, all had been arrested by police. Let them go! Let them go! The crowd continued to grow, chanting for the protesters to be freed and for police to leave. Police used pepper spray several times, and some protesters threw water bottles. But the police eventually backed down. The students are never on the wrong side of history. Who's using aggression? It's the cops. Who is peacefully protesting a war in which 30,000 people died? It's us. Finally, the last of the police retreated into a campus building. Whose campus? Protesters say, despite more than 40 arrests, they feel they won Monday's standoff because more eyes than ever are now watching and more voices joining in the chants for Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.